What do you mean, no? I can't do it. This tops a lot, this does. I'm sorry about this, mate. She's been having a few problems. No, I mean, yes, I have been having a few problems, and I keep blaming myself, always myself. But it's you, Charlie. It's been with you. She's lost it. I was OK before I met you. Everyone keeps telling me that you destroy me, that you go with other women. And now they finally got through to you, then. And I kept denying it and denying it and denying it, because I was so scared, I was so scared of losing you. But you are destroying me. You do go with other women. I've seen it with my own eyes. And you made me feel like it was my fault. You made me feel scared and you made me feel inferior. I can't trust you. I can't marry you. Yes, 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 Man, you should hit me you in here. Leave her alone. No! Leave her alone. Leave it out. Leave it out. Do you think they wrote their own vows? Shelley! Take me home, please! What's happened? Just take me home! Get out. Hang oh, on a minute. Leave us alone. <laughs> after everything I've done, Look at you, after everything I've done... <laughs> hey! You touch one hair on her head, I'll kill you! Charlie, come on, son. <laughs> Keep out of it. This is Shelley, between me and her. There is uh, a bright side to this fiasco. What's that, Norris? Well, we can reopen the shop earlier than we planned. Oh, you must be delighted. Well, I am, actually, cos I've had some inspiring thoughts about maximising our margins. Our margins are fine, Norris. Uh, I am the partner with the background in executive sales, you know. You're the junior partner, and don't you forget it. You know what I don't understand about all this? What? Where's Liz and Silla? I think there's bigger questions than that, Kirk. Well, this war blind they'd be here. Because I don't want to give anyone an excuse not to come to their wedding. Mm. Whoever would have deserved a good kick in it now happens to you. Johnny! Stop it! Stop it! I'll not scream! You got me doing breathing exercises now. You thank me for being there. <laughs> you had the cheek to stand there at the altar and thank me for being there. I didn't know if you'd turn up. I wish I hadn't now. I thought about it. I was lying in bed this morning thinking about it. You know what made my mind up? The thought of how you take it. Was it deliberate? Did you set out to humiliate me in the worst, most public way you could think of? You change your mind. You don't want to get married. Fine, OK. So why wait till we're in church to tell me? Why put us through that? I had to. Well, no, you didn't. You could have called me. Sorry, Charlie, wedding's off. Changed my mind. What's wrong with that? Why didn't you do that? You didn't have your phone switched on. I didn't know where you were. Don't give me that. You could have left a message. You could have given Jason a message. There was no need to go through all that rigmarole to get as far as the altar. Why do that? I had to. Why? I just had to. Why? I had to prove... to prove to myself that I wasn't just bottling out. That I'd hit my final target. What target?! You know! My back. Oh, you hit that all right, bullseye! You stuck the knife right in! It wasn't about hurting you.
Was it a spur of the moment thing? No. You knew what you were going to do? Not exactly. So it was spur of the moment? I didn't know if I was going to get there, but I did. And I didn't know if I was brave enough to say no. I could have said yeah. But then I heard the actual words. And I knew that they'd meant nothing to Peter. And they meant nothing to you. So I did it. I said no. You'll regret it tomorrow. You'll come crawling back. On your hands and knees, begging me to forgive you, as usual. No, I won't. You're mentally ill, you know that, don't you? You know you're not right in the head. Yeah, yeah, I do know that, yeah. <laughs> You've no idea what you're doing. I know I need help. And I know Zach was giving me that help. And who got him? Who paid for him? And who made me stop seeing him? You made it down the aisle, didn't you? You hit your target. He'd done his job. I was right all along. You're in control all along. You are always in control. <laughs> what are you talking about, you daft bitch? I did my own hair this morning. I did my own nails. I did my own makeup. I was all on my own. Because I haven't got any mates anymore. I haven't got any family. And that's because of you. It's you who's cut yourself off from everyone. Only to make you happy. Sunita. Me mum. Everyone at the pub. Well, they've all kept pouring their poison in and eventually they've turned you against me. You'll regret this for the rest of your life. I've had two weddings now. Twice down the aisle. Never actually got married. But I don't care. I just want to get back to the woman I was before I met either of you. Because that woman was okay. So I don't need Peter. And I don't need you. Goodbye, Charlie.